the premium solution for cytotoxic or antineoplastic drug compounding, providing patient, operator, and environmental protection. This is a short demonstration of how to properly use the Cytoculture Cytotoxic Safety Cabinet. Cytotoxic or antineoplastic drugs are considered hazardous. According to NIOSH, drugs considered as hazardous include those that exhibit one or more of the following six characteristics in humans or animals. Carcinogenicity, teratogenicity, reproductive toxicity, organ toxicity at low doses, genotoxicity, structure and toxicity profiles of new drugs that mimic existing drugs determined hazardous by the above criteria. It is therefore critical that anyone who handles these drugs is adequately protected and must observe safety procedures. The CYT is not a magic box, therefore aseptic technique is still necessary for protecting the product and the operator from the risk of contamination. The CYT must be used only for handling and compounding cytotoxic drugs. CYT must also be placed in a room designated for this purpose only. Pre-compounding procedures. Wash hands thoroughly before starting any procedure. Wear proper PPE for handling cytotoxic drugs prior to entering the compounding room. Click the link below to know more about proper PPE donning and doffing. Startup operation. Raise the sash to the indicated normal operational height. The lamp will turn on when the height is reached. Turn on the fan by pressing the fan button. Input the fan pin. Turning on the fan will also start the warm-up procedure. During the warm-up procedure, all the buttons are not operational. Allow the cabinet to purge any contaminant by allowing the blower to operate at least three minutes before and after using the cabinet. This is to remove the airborne contaminants from the work zone and to stabilize the cabinet airflow. Surface decontaminate the work area before using the cabinet. Ensure that the air intake and exhaust area of the cabinet is free from any obstruction. Ensure the front and back air grills are not obstructed by your arms or any other object. Surface decontaminate any items, including your arms or apparatus with appropriate disinfectant before entering or exiting the work area. Place the waste container inside the cabinet work area. Place all items and apparatus in the safe working area. Minimize room activity, personnel movements, closing and opening of doors, etc. Since these external airflow disturbances may adversely affect the cabinet's internal airflow, thereby possibly impairing the containment capabilities of the cabinet. Ensure that the sash is at a normal operating height before starting any experiment. Adjust the height of the lab chair so that the shoulder is approximately level with the front sliding sash to give you better visibility of the work zone and ensure that your face is protected by the front sash. Working with the Cytoculture Cytotoxic Safety Cabinet. Work as far inside the cabinet as possible, at least 150 millimeters, six inches, behind the front air intake grill. While working in the cabinet, move your hands slowly and in a controlled manner. Rapid movements may disrupt the air barrier, allowing contaminants to escape or enter the cabinet. Minimize movement in the work zone across different areas. Leave the blower on for three minutes to purge airborne contamination from the work zone. Turning off the cabinet. Turn off the fan by pressing the fan button. Input the fan pin. This will also start the post-purge procedure. During the post-purge period, all the buttons are not operational. Lower the sash to the fully closed position. The sash can be lowered immediately after turning off the fan as it will not interrupt the post-purge procedure. Turn on the UV lamp when present to decontaminate the work area by pressing the UV button. The UV lamp can only be turned on after the post-purge procedure is finished. Leave the UV lamp on to make sure the decontamination is done effectively. This can easily be done by setting the UV timer. Cabinet maintenance. Proper and timely maintenance is crucial for trouble-free functioning of any device, and your ESCO cabinet is not an exception to this rule. We strongly recommend that you follow the maintenance schedule suggested here under to obtain optimal performance from your ESCO cabinet.